What's going on guys and in this video I'm going to go over what you need to bring to basic training and what I brought and what I wish I would have brought and not brought. So for basic training I packed everything. The entire packing list that, that your recruiter is going to give you I brought. Do I wish I would have done that? No. So basically on the packing list, you know, it's an entire change of clothes, pins, all of that crap. Um, you know, you're going to get the packing list. And if you're about to leave, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But um, what you need to bring, what I would bring is nothing. Absolutely nothing. Because here's what's going to happen. You're going to get the basic training. And like one of the first things you're going to do is you're going to go into the contraband room or... It, some, I guess that's what they call it. I honestly forget what they call it. It was all a blur. But you're going to go into this room and you're going to dump your bags and over half the stuff you're going to throw away. You're going to throw away everything. And then the things you don't throw away, you're not going to use. You're not going to use it. The civilian clothes you brought, you're not going to use them. They're, they're going to get put away as soon as you get to basic training. Uh, any hygiene equipment, most of that stuff is not going to be useful. They're, your mouthwash, they're going to take it. Your toothpaste, you might get to keep it. If I mean, your deodorant, you might get to keep it. It all has to be certain types of stuff. Um, you're going to throw stuff away that you didn't even know was contraband. Or you're going to be scared like I was. Like, oh, if I keep it, is this contraband? I'm just going to throw it away just in case. There's only one thing that I would bring to basic training. Everything else you can buy. There's one thing that I would bring to basic training. And that is cough drops. I would bring as many packs as you, not as many packs, but I would bring four or five big bags of sugar-free cough drops because sugar-free cough drops are like currency and army basic training. And you'll know what I mean when you get, when you get there. But once you get to basic training, you can only, you go to the PX every other week and you're allowed to buy one bag. So there's 25 drops in a bag and you can think there's 14 days in between each bear each px run and you're gonna run out and you're gonna want cough drops you're gonna want a snack they're gonna use them like candy you're gonna use it as money and they go fast but the first time you go through is the only time you're allowed to bring and have as many as you want and they're not gonna it's not gonna be like oh you can only have one bag you can get mailed bags um, but they're only gonna let let you keep two bags per time so the max you can have on you is three now here's a little tip i i got lucky and i'm i mailed my parents and said cough drops are like money here i need you to send me cough drops so my parents told my grandparents all my family friends um they sent bags probably three times a week different people would send bags three times a week so i was constantly getting two bags and they never actually caught on which is a crazy thing um sorry about this this guy, who's that guy? Uh, I never, they never really caught on like, hey, do you have too many cough drop bags? But that's not saying that they won't catch on for you. So uh, it's worth the shot. Um, my parents would send like six bags per time. Uh, sometimes I got to sneak it through and would get, get to keep all six bags. So you run the risk, um, but most of the time you're gonna keep one or two bags. So cough drops are like candy, bring cough drops. You're gonna want cough drops. Everything else, it's just going to be more stuff you got to carry around. You're going to have to hold that heavy bag and for a long time. It's really just not even worth it. So, honestly, don't bring anything. You don't need it. You don't even need a change of clothes. You can wear what you wear to MEPS. You can wear to the hotel the night before and then wear it to basic training. Because as soon as you get there, within the first few hours, you're going to get issued your PTs and your Camelback. And that's what you're going to be wearing until you ship to basic training. So... And then you're going to get to basic training, do your shark attack, and then you're going to change back into PTs. You're wearing PTs most of red phase because you're doing PT so much. So bring cough drops and nothing else. Honestly, that's the best advice I can give you. Um, if you, I would bring like a little str a string sack like y that you can get anywhere full of cough drops. And uh, that's honestly all I would bring. And bring some addresses of people you want to write. Those are the only things you need to bring to basic training. Straight up facts. That's all you need. So, um, I mean, you can do what you want. I'm telling you how it's going to go. I'm telling you how it went for me and all my buddies that went through. I went through reception with. 
So you think you're going to keep all this stuff and you think you're going to be so prepared? No, nah, that ain't how it's going to happen, player. So, uh, yeah, that's that's basically it. That's all you need for basic training, the basic training packing list for Fort Jackson and uh, all your other basic trainings. So uh, with that being said, I'll hit you up with, uh, in another video. Talk to you later. Leave your questions, comments below, and uh, see you in the next one.